Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we had become we had entered Three CC Peak as one of the main things of the episode, but we also became a walrus. I am a walrus. Your point is invalid. Your statement is invalid. What did I say? Oh my god, I just ruined that quote. I hate. I actually, like, speaking of ruining quotes, I remember a while back I actually did a uh, Dolan comic on paper. And, uh, I don't even think it's on the internet anymore. But uh, it was a really st freaking stupid one. And, uh, I think it was like, uh, I just put like a bunch of memes into it at once. And then I just drew What's His Face from Pit My Ride at the end. It's like, cause that's another meme. <laughs> it's like meme -ception, ception And, uh,. At the very end of it, I put, instead of Gooby, please, I put, please, Gooby. And, like, I never noticed I wrote that. I, like, I, I don't know what happened. I, like, nonchalantly wrote, please, Gooby. And, like, I looked at it later, and I was like, oh, what the fuck did I just write? I just fucking ruined fucking Dolan. Hey, Mr. Wallace, fancy a race? Hop onto the sled if you do. Okay. Get, get on the sled, thank you. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go. <gasps> Watch out for the Yeti! I'm just kidding, that's not real. Not in this game. Fun fact, I never actually played that game before. Is it, is it any good? I know enough I know enough about it. I've seen enough videos of it, but I've never actually played that game before. Here. Get, uh. There we are. I'm ahead of him now. Jumping is like the secret to this. Also, you go up hills rather fast with this thing. I don't know why. I never explained that. Nope, screw you. Don't fall in the water. You don't want to fall in the water. Just gonna say that. That would be like your last wish in life. The last thing to be a wish in your life, not like the last wish you make. You'd never make that wish, trust me. Falling in the water, I don't know if it's this one or the second race you do, but it kills your sleigh. And actually, in the second race, you're by foot and you have to get these thingies that make you run fast. And it kills those, I think. <laughs> you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. I actually did really good in that, and I was like way ahead of him at the end. I normally lose like once or twice. Well, this LP is just going dandy and sweet, isn't it? There's Waz's cave again, so we're back in square one. And uh, I think we're actually done with the walrus, even, so we're way ahead of square one. We're actually about square 74, but we haven't moved past square 74 in a while. So. Square 75. It's fucking Monopoly, people. Life is like Monopoly. You get money when you do things. You know, you know, life, life, you know, you know, friends, friends are like bananas. If you peel their skin off and eat them, they die. They were dead before you ate them. <laughs> and we're Banjo again. Now what's ironic is in this mumbo 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 bleh, mumbo hut here. Um, you don't actually get boots to get across to it, but you get boots to get back, which I think is hilarious. I don't know about you guys. And we are back on foot again. And I think we want to go to Waza's cave. Now, if you remember correctly, Waza is not standing outside the cave anymore. So Banjo and Kazooie can both sneak in if they wanted to. Which they do want to, I believe. I do believe. Don't! Thank you. Thank you, game. You've made me happy once more. Now, if you guys remember back a couple episodes ago, I, ac I actually showed I accidentally entered a cheat long before I even began LPing. And I had Shark Food Island race. Well, here's another one that I did off-screen long years ago. I'll just uh, get the key this thing here. Now, you'll all have noticed the ice key back here. It's like the main thing anyone notices. Well, I've been back here, and I got the ice key. I'm actually going to show the stop and swap menu real quick. Just for you guys, for your own pleasure. And that's all I've gotten so far. 
and it's just like freaking stop and swap. Just I I, I want to show the stop and swap and how it works. But I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna do like a slideshow with me talking over it because I can't really get the gameplay myself. And like if anyone would willingly donate gameplay videos, that'd be very helpful because I have no way of recording my Xbox. Like even if I did like plug my dazzle into it, I think the Xbox is too high quality for my dazzle to handle. My computer would just like f up the whole thing. Because, you know, Xbox is a very high-quality system. It's also a very fun system. Also the reason why I never get any work done. <laughs> Anyways, um, but, uh, yeah, if, if anyone is, uh, willing to help with the final episode, much appreciated. Get up their banjo. Get up their banjo! And you're also going to need to have all three banjo games, and have gotten through all three banjo games, and not gotten the stop and swap done yet. In other words, you're probably not going to be able to help me. Which I'll probably do a slideshow then. Which I, don't, which I don't mind doing. A slideshow is not a pain in the ass at all. Also, this fucking. Oh, it is a pain in the ass. This fucking. Uh, I don't even know why I got off the freaking roof. I will get on this thing. I am a man! Oh, that's too far away. That's too far away as well. Too far away. That's too f far away. I think. Too far away. This thing is glitchy as fudge. Thank you. I was gonna fly up in the air. We. Holy crap! Is this level? I think it is. It's the one with the. I don't know if it's even a real level. I remember this is one where you can look up in the sky and Santa Claus will be in the moon. I don't know if it's this game or if it was a, Mar a Super Mario 64 mod. Ouch. It's most likely a mod from Super Mario 64 I saw on YouTube one time. But I saw a video one time if you look up, there's Santa Claus. Nope, there's no Santa, just a really freaking creepy moon. That is... A spinning sky? Really? Oh my god, I didn't even know they had that effect back then. Wow! Points to you, Rare. That was a really good job you did there. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know you could even do that back in this time. I thought that was like an impossible. Actually, wait, never mind. Donkey Kong 64 uses it in uh, Frantic Factory. There's a part where if you look in the sky, there's like this. If you look up at the roof, you're in a factory, obviously. There's like this sky skylight, and uh, yeah, the sky spins around in there. I didn't think of that. No. Oh fucking Jesus! Thank you. Oh, I'm almost dead. <gasps> I almost died. I had a near-death experience at Banjo-Kazooie. Ladies and gentlemen, this game. I lived. Okay, that was a close That was a really close one, I want to say. Now this level is kind of like Bubble Hoop Swamp. There is one Jiggy that we are going to miss on a purpose. So we only have one Jiggy left to get. And if I if I would have died, I would have had to do all the work over again for this. And I did all the work in the first episode for CZP. And didn't even talk about it. And if you guys remember these three presents we found. Wow, thank you, Brown Bear. I just want to make a point saying, like, I don't know if I'm a freak for saying this or anything. But this sad version of the Freezy Z Peak song is freaking awesome. Right here is the best part. I don't know why, it's just like, it's, with like the down beat, it just sounds really cool. Yippee, now we've all got presents, here's something for you. And then it's this really shitty version that I don't like. It's too happy. I don't know, the sad version of the song, not like, like... Freaking, like, in movies, when they do sad music, it never really... It's all right. It just sounds all right. When they do it in a video game, any sad version of a song sounds freaking amazing. Like in uh, Halo Wars, with the credits, the Insignificantia. That is, like, the greatest fucking game song in history. Like, I don't know. Freaking video games. One thing that I love about them is the fact that they make the really good background music for all of them. Also, that snowman's there now. Also, it's too early for this. And I think you can kill him, but I think he just drops like a, uh... I don't remember what he drops. It's not important, though. 
wasn't like a jiggy or anything like that. Well, now it's time to go unlock a new level, which we're going to go to today. Or maybe not today, not, maybe not right now, but... I don't know. I don't even know this, but whatever it is. I can see it's quite hard work. And then the sentence got cut off by the video, the cutscene. Poor Gruntinda. Tries a bitch and in the game does its thing. Yeah, the rest of this area is, like, spoilers to a later level, which is like a haunted level, which I just spoiled. But I really don't want to spoil anything to, uh, that level. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite levels of the game, actually. That's another thing I've always loved is haunted levels. I don't know why. Like, I feel like no game is complete unless it has a snow level, a desert level, a water level, and a haunted house level. It has to have all four of them things. And, like, a really grassy plains level. Like, Bumbo's Mountain. It's, like, not really like a grassy plains level, but it's got, like, a bouncy, grassy, colorful theme to it. Every first level needs to be something like that. Like, Banjo Tooie, you can tell they were trying to make, like, a direct sequel, because it doesn't even start off in, like, a bouncy world. It starts off in, like, a Mayan temple world, which is cool. It's really cool being in a temple. I'm going to commit suicide real quick, no one minds. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough. Okay, that's better. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo. And then we're never going to see bottles again till the end of the game. Drink it once rain. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Spark Breath? Kazooie, will eggs and feathers help? No. Need water help. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is like Pita's favorite part of this entire game. Actually, I was gonna make a point. I was actually on uh, this one video, like I don't know what it was, like this guy's like it was like something something I think it's on Rayleigh and Johnson, it was like but uh, it's like one of them things like people like playing like connected shit and they like they accidentally hit their like kid in the face. But like this guy accidentally hit his dog in the face. And um like, some guy in the comments is like, Oh, dude, you hit a dog. Peter's gonna be pissed. And he's like, Oh, no, Peter's not gonna be pissed. They're too busy worrying about Mario and Zelda and Pokemon at the time. My dough is all blocked up. Okay, so some eggs. I don't know how that helps. Uh, uh, I don't get how eggs helps. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, stuffing eggs up your nose is the new cure to a runny nose. Well, I guess if you're, like, a giant sphinx, the eggs would, like, the uh, tiny little eggs would do something, I guess, but... Because you're... Yeah, you would, your body would detect them and try to sneeze them out. I think if a normal human tried to stuff an egg up his nose, it's either you're a superhuman or you just, like, broke your fucking nose into, like, three pieces or some shit, because that would be very painful. Still a cure to freaking uh, runny noses. If you get a runny nose, stuff an egg up your nose. Banjo Kazooie logic, people. Oh shit. This guy here is one of the worst enemies in the game. But there is a method. Let's not do it now. There's a method to killing him. I can fall over and then. Gra Come on, ground pound him when he's. Dang it. You yeah, don't try ground pounding him after you fail. This guy kicks my ass every time I play this game. I don't know why. Thank you! Also, remember I said earlier in the game that there's a part where like, you'll kill enemies and they're not like skeletons or robots and they break. That was what I was talking about. If you look closely, you'll see there's like... like flesh parts sticking out when he dies. Which is kind of gross. It's not like, uh... There's no blood or anything, it's just... I think back at the time, it was kind of lenient in those kind of things. There's a lot of things they were more lenient on back in the day. Now it's like, oh, you can't, you can't say kill anymore. That's a bad word. Now you gotta say defeat. You know, kill's a bad word. Now you gotta defeat your enemies. I mean, you can't just, you can't, you, you know, Batman can't just kill the Joker. 
oh, what game was it? Like, 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 like I was watching Game Grumps, they were playing Mega Man, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you, Wily, and they're like, holy shit! <laughs> it's like, well, no shit, duh. Like, dude, like, at the time, they didn't ban those things, and... I don't know, I just find it hilarious that they won't let you say kill anymore in a game. Like, I, I, I don't know why, just, it's, it's funny to me. Like, like, what is a little kid going to learn from the word, like, just knowing the word kill? Which they most likely already know. What it means. I mean, it's not like it's not like a like a major taboo. At least in the United States, knowing what that word means. I'm sure there are countries though where it is like a uh, word that you should never say. Oh crap! Don't fall in the quicksand, banjo. I've already missed like five things here, and I'm not even, I have, I'm not even going back for them until I'm ready. Out of the way. What's the point? Whenever I play this game, fucking, 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 it's kind of like when I play Donkey Kong 64. Like fruit sounds really good because like, all the items in the game are fruit based or food based. This game, like fucking honey, sounds really good right now. And I don't even fucking like honey. That's the weird thing about this game. And also, um, earlier in this episode, I pointed out that Waz's cave was opened up. That thing is opened up for me, too. And, uh, yeah, that's all part of the stop and swap cheats that I activated years ago. And the very last one is a thing, a thing you have to open up, but it's something that, uh, it makes something appear in the room. It's like a later room in the game. So it's already accessible. I think there's like two or three from like that. Get that. Get that, Bando, get that. But yeah, whenever I play this game, I always get the idea like they programs stuff into the game that at first they thought no one was gonna find. But then actually, then again, they said that originally in Banjo 2 they were supposed to tell you how to get to this stuff, but they never did. Oh, oh they, probably, they probably did tell you how to get to this stuff, and you just never get to see any of it. We're off. Squad law, we are off. Anyways, um, yes, now you need to fly through these rings, which is a pain in the ass. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. I'll beat the game, it's worth it. Let's get here. This is the final boss, people. There was no boss fight. I don't see the point of the rest of the game, but see, like I said, there's something programmed in this game that no one's gonna see. They programmed the rest of the game in. And right here, it's like, oh, if you do this mission, we'll just let you skip right to the final boss. Go this way, go from behind. You can actually go in. Not gonna say it, not gonna say it. You can actually go in from behind. You just have to go through the ring, and you'll get a, uh, the freaking one of the freaking mummy hands just tried to grab me from while I was flying. Look at their faces and smell. It's weird. It's a weird thing to do with a texture. Uh, only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Oh well, Jiggy's close enough. It's not the final boss, but it's a Jiggy. I'm gonna be honest. I actually fell for that my first time playing this game. No clue. I was just sitting there like, oh, if I do this, I get to fight the final boss. Nice, right, man, just skip the freaking animation. That was great. Only we sand eels can survive in here. Wait, this isn't quicksand? Never said quicksand. It's not quicksand. What is it then? Is it quicksand or some kind of weird... What is that? Comments below. Please tell me if it's not quicksand, what is it supposed to be? It, like it burns him, that's all I know. Or it is quicksand and sand eels. Ah, uh, gotta open up Wikipedia now. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy's a little low, and blah blah blah. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Which means we are not done. 
but just this isn't the last level or anything. It's just this is the last level you learn and stuff. And I guess from here it gets really hard because they expect you to know everything at this point. Didn't plan that. I didn't think supposed to be here yet. This guy's got a jiggy. Crappa's got a jiggy. Oh, he's got like a nerd voice. Grandpa's got a jiggy. No! Can't bear you now. He sounds like a fucking nerd when he laughs. The way they spell it, you can tell it's like a fucking nerd laugh. Well, I'm gonna call it quits for this part of the episode. I'm just gonna. No! 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 See you in the next one.